The world-famous Golden Gate Bridge is owned and operated by a little-known body called the Golden Gate Bridge District. In addition to the iconic landmark, the district operates a fleet of ferries and buses that runs between San Francisco and Marin County on a route that parallels the bridge. The union employees of the district have been without a labor contract for more than 10 months and the workers are impatient with the stalemate. As usual, health care benefits and retiree benefits are the major issues here, as they are for so many workers. On May 1st, International Workers' Day, the union employees decided it was time for action. We're very workers, under attack. What do we do? standing overlooking the picket line that the workers at the ferry have set up to uh, stop all traffic coming into the ferry terminal, to stop all boats running for the ferries, and to make it clear to management that they demand affordable health care for their families, they want to keep the benefits they have, and they want to keep their retirees protected in their health benefits as well. And today is May 1st, International Workers' Day. So this event has a, a resonance which is going to be felt around the world. As many workers all over the world are struggling with keeping their health care, keeping their benefits, keeping their jobs, and keeping their wages at a level where they can live and support their families. I'm Alan Cote. I'm the national president of the Inland Boatmen's Union of the Pacific. And uh, we put this picket line up after a year of bargaining without success when we have done everything possible to help the uh, bridge district uh, financially, in these troubled times, we have a few demands that we are firm on, and at this point, they are unwaveringly telling us no, and that's not acceptable, and we're going to stand here and let everybody know that uh, it's time to stop uh, picking on the working class every time we have an economic problem. My job, I collect tickets, count the passengers, bring in the ferry, um, answer as many questions as I can in one day. The machines, yeah, they're, I think they're a big hassle. They are. A lot of passengers, they don't know what they're doing. I'm 68 years old, so all of this is very important to me as it relates to retirement and benefits. Um, I hope to be retired in the next year or two. And it's very, very important that I get this straight and together. Renee, I know the, one of the big issues here for the, for the TAs at long term is that the district is talking about getting rid of the ramps that uh, connect the boats to the dock and with that uh, intending to get rid of uh, some of the, the terminal assistant jobs. Is that correct? Not just removing the gangways, but removing us at the same time, you know, just like they did to the, 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 the ticket agents. But unfortunately, we got people trying to take away things from us that we've earned the right to have over the years and everything. You know, the, the American people are, are the people that turn the wheels of the economy. Without us, you know, the wheels don't turn and nothing gets done. Right. And, and, and having said that, you got the other people that sit on top of the world, you know. And, uh, you know, they look down upon us as servants, you know. And all we're trying to do is eke out a living here. Why is it that the uh, bus drivers don't have to pay the kind of uh, uh, enrollment uh, costs that they're demanding from the other workers here? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, we've made a proposal that's similar to what the bus drivers actually were given a year before we started bargaining at the table. And they have a fixed wage diversion in terms of paying for their health care. That's what we've been offering um, at the table, and the district's denying it. And that's one of the reasons why we're really pushing back against what's going on here. The issue that you brought up at the table apparently is uh, a demand for a uh, percentage of enrollment cost, but the bus drivers aren't paying that. Why is that? I don't know what their contract involves, and I'm sure it will come up for if, if they're, when their contract expires. I, I, they're a separate entity. To that. That's one of the issues that uh, I think rankles the coalition the most is that you're not demanding from 250 workers on the one side what you are demanding from the 380 I, workers I in the coalition. Speak to that. Today is the turning point. Today, I, I think, is, is uh, the day that's going to mark uh, a complete turnaround in the way business is being done. Okay. And I think it's just most unfortunate that uh, uh, 
a lot of people still don't understand that the real criminals are the people that made off with all of our tax dollars here. You guys finally did it. We finally did we it. Finally you did. didn't believe it was ever going to happen finally, today. No. It's been going on for years. That's right. So uh, tell us, Dave, what your, your background is with the uh, food and commercial workers, isn't it? 40 years. 40 years, 40 right? 40 years. And how many strikes were you in over there? I was in five. Two of them were not authorized. <laughs> Unauthorized strike. Unauthorized. Rank and file strike. Huh? Rank and file strike. Uh -huh. we, we took matters in our own hands. Am I going to be on TV? You're on TV. Well, you're going to be on. You're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> We're reporting here from the site of the strike, the first strike that's occurred for many years at the Golden Gate Ferry, as the workers are making clear that they are not willing to give up the health care benefits that they have now, especially for the families that require health care benefits. So this is an important issue for them. And they are here on a picket line, shut, having shut down the ferry for the morning on May 1st. And uh, they say if they don't get what they need, they'll be back and uh, on strike again. This is Frank McMurray for Golden Gate Justice, reporting from Larksburg Ferry Firm. Go get them. Go get them. All right. All right. All right.